What's up guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and I'm back with another tutorial on C++ programming. Now in this video tutorial, we'll calculate the factorial of a number. So we'll take the input from the user and we'll print the factorial value of that number. So let's go ahead and open up your IDE to start the programming. Okay, so as you can see, I've written the question in the comment and I've already typed in the basic structure. So quickly go ahead and type in the structure as well. So here's the question, write a program to calculate factorial of a number. So the example here is given as we need to calculate factorial of 5. So we know the factorial of 5 is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which equals to 120. So this is the answer that we need to find out. So in the main function, let's go ahead and first take an input from the user. So I'll write C out, enter a number to calculate its factorial I'll create two variables int x comma fact and I'll take input from user in the variable x now as you can see in the question the example you can see that every iteration the value of the number is reducing by 1 so this indicates that we need to use a loop wherein the value is decremented by 1 at every iteration. So here's how we are going to go about it. Now suppose the user enters the value 5. So x value currently is 5. Now I'll write fact equals to x which means that the new variable fact is also equal to 5. I will tell you why I did that. On the next line I'll write while opening and closing round brackets then opening and closing curly brackets so this is the syntax of while loop and in the while condition I'll write while x is greater than 1 I'll tell you why I wrote this inside the while loop I'll write x minus minus and on the next line, I'll write fact is equal to fact into x. So this is the logic to calculate the factorial and I'll explain you how it goes. So let's see the while loop and let's try to dry run it. So for the first iteration, we know that the value of x is 5 because we took the input as 5 from user. So at this line, x will be equal to 4 and at this line fact would be equal to 5 into 4 which will give us value 20. Now this 5 is the value of fact because we equated it at this stage that is fact equals to x and this 4 is because we just decremented the value of x. So in the first iteration we got the result 20. Now when the loop is going to end, it checks the condition whether x is greater than 1. Now we know x is 4. So since x is greater than 1 and it is true, this loop will again execute. And now for the second iteration, again x will decrement by 1 and the new value would be 3. Now for the fact value, we know that the fact value is 20. So this would be 20 into the new x value which is 3 should give us the answer of 60 again at the end it will check whether x is greater than 1 and yes x is 3 which is greater than 1 so again this loop will execute and similarly the fact value will go on increasing and once the x value goes below 1 this loop will stop executing and we'll get the final answer so we can print it over here factorial value which is stored in the fact variable so go ahead quickly save this and let's see if this compiles and runs correctly okay so it's asking for a number we'll enter 5 and there you go the factorial value is 120 so this is exactly what we wanted let's see for another number 
let us enter the value 4 and the answer I guess should be 24 okay so that's a correct answer so this is the logic for calculating factorial of any number if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video peace